everybody and welcome to the Die Brief. In today's episode, I'm basically going to break down the new stuff that's coming in for 2021. Now, it's kind of that time of year. It's normally sort of November time is when things start to get announced and then come February in the new year, we start to see things in the shelf. So come sort of March and April, this is when we really start to see most of the new stuff that's ever going to come for the new year. Let's see what's dropped. So the first department we're looking at is regulators. So nothing overly groundbreaking, no brand new regulators kind of coming out, but there's been some new configurations and some things that kind of were released last year, but last year wasn't really a normal year, so a lot of people didn't notice it. So for 2021, the first one I'm talking about is the Apex MTX RC in the long hose configuration. So instead of buying the individual components and then buying the hoses to make a long hose primary donate setup, Apex have a dedicated set for this. So this is great if you're starting off with single cylinders, but then thinking about moving on to twins as well, because all you're really gonna need to invest in is a second first stage. That way you can start to split it up and you're pretty well ready for twins. But in its current setup, you can dive it with singles in a long hose primary donate setup. Next regulators we're looking at is the new version, the third generation of the Aqualung Legend regulator. Uh, a couple of different versions of this. There's the MBS, which is the master breathing system, which is basically a breathing adjustment knob and venturi lever melted into one adjustable knob, which makes your diving a lot easier. Then you have the elite version, which separates the two, so you have full control over which and which. Moving on to exposure protection, the first new one for 2021 is the fourth element surface wetsuit. So this is a very different wetsuit, almost literally, because it's made out of Ulex Pure. Instead of neoprene, petroleum-based neoprene and whatnot, Ulex is basically a plant product that is effectively a replacement to neoprene. So it's much more sustainable. Everything from the glue that they're using to the dye is much more environmentally friendly. So this is the way a lot of wetsuits are going to transfer first two. Um, then sticking with environmentally friendly, uh, we have the new range of thermic exposure protection from Apex. So the thermic wetsuit is a thick 8mm wetsuit, but I've tried it on myself, incredibly flexible. So even though it's 8mm of neoprene, you can still move around in it. And the neoprene itself is limestone based, so again, environmentally friendly. They also have a range of neoprene alternatives. So thermic carbon core, both in long sleeve and short sleeve vests. So this is yeah, a neoprene alternative. It's uh, equivalent to about a two mil thick neoprene shirt that you can wear either as a rash vest, just to keep your core nice and warm, or you can wear it underneath your wetsuit or even under your dry suit to act as a, uh, a bit of extra warmth that uh, sort of insulating layer to try and keep you warm. And then you can move up to dry suits. Fourth Element released their Hydra dry suit, which is a neoprene dry suit. And that just means it's much thicker, much kind of stronger compared to a membrane undersuit. But of course you have the inherent buoyancy and the, uh, the, the weight of it. And finally, moving down to just everyday use, Fourth Element released the Arctic hoodie. So they've used the material from their very popular Arctic undersuits and turned that into an everyday wear hoodie that you can wear around the dive site and downtown just to keep you warm. Very, very effective at wicking moisture, keeping you dry, but keeping you warm and keeping the wind from cutting through. So that's definitely worth checking out. For 2021, Paralens released their newest version of their dive camera, the Vaquita. So this is a, a torch shaped dive camera and it's effectively a, a GoPro, but more specifically made for scuba diving. It was made by divers for scuba divers and the torch itself has built in pressure sensors. So it knows your dive profile and inside it has an algorithm that's always adjusting and color correcting the deeper down you go. So your images, your videos, they don't all come back bluer and bluer the deeper down you go. It actually auto-corrects the white balance so your videos and your pictures actually look like what you're looking for. So 
very clever, more of an action style camera than a big point and click camera, but definitely worth checking out if you want to record what's going on under the water. For scuba diving, Torches Apex released their Lunar range of dive torches. At the moment, you only have the Lunar and the Lunar Mini. There is gonna be an advanced version coming later in this year, but right now you can normally find the Mini, which is a cracking dive torch. Nice and compact, 1,000 lumens and a sealed body, so you never have to unscrew it, open it, and risk that seal. You charge it through the body of the torch, and on the back, it has battery level indicators. A better option is the Luna, the sort of middle range, which is more powerful, but instead of a traffic light battery system, uh, or battery indicator system, which tells you how much battery life you have left. It actually has an LCD or an LED screen on the back, which actually spells out exactly how much battery life you have remaining inside of that torch in hours and minutes. So you know exactly how much power you have left in your torch. For the dive computer department, Shearwater released a new dive computer towards the end of last year called the Peregrine. Now, Shearwater have been loved by a lot of divers all over the world, and for good reason, because they make incredibly good dive computers, but they've always been aired more towards the advanced technical diver. So the entry level divers, feel they're a little bit too advanced for them, so they never end up choosing them. But they are fantastic dive computers for any level of diver. So Shearwater created the Peregrine, which was aimed more at entry-level divers, but it still has a lot of the same specifications and the quality as their more advanced dive computers. So the Peregrine is a color screen, large screen dive computer, incredibly easy to use and incredibly flexible so that starting out with your diving, this can be a fantastic entry-level dive computer and it gets you used to the more advanced uh, sort of features on a dive computer in a really easy way. Also, Aqualung released a new version of their i200C dive computer for a small watch size dive computer. They released it with a NATO style strap, so instead of the rubber straps that do the job, but after a few years, if you don't look after them, the straps themselves can crack and you need to replace them. The NATO style strap is incredibly comfortable and that NATO webbing is incredibly strong as well, so you can wear it day in, day out. And that's about all of the interesting stuff that we've seen for 2021. Now, I imagine we are gonna see some more new stuff coming throughout the year. 2020 threw a lot of spanners into a lot of people's mechanics, so the normal production schedules have been thrown all over the place. So producing all of these new, exciting pieces of scuba diving equipment have been just laid out. So having them all ready at the same time, ready for the new diving season, I don't think anyone's gonna expect that to happen. So going forwards, I think we're start starting to see more of a sort of a monthly, this is new for March in 2021. This is new for April. So going forwards, I think we're still gonna see more new and exciting stuff and we'll tell you here on the dive brief, but it's gonna be less of a, right, it's the beginning of the season. This is where everything is gonna drop. I think it's gonna be spread out over the entire year. So it's definitely worth checking out. For all of these, they're going to be available on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's going to be a whole bunch of links down in the description below if you're interested in any of these. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. That way you'll be the first to know about the latest and greatest scuba diving equipment, and it's always available on our website, simplyscuba.com. You can also sign up to our email scheme there, where you'll also be emailed some discount codes from time to time. So it's definitely worth uh, sort of subscribing to our email system. Thank you for watching and of course, safe time.